Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast YouTube edition. I am your host Mikey Stevenson and today I'm going to be talking to you about basic anchors versus load sharing anchors. All right, so if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right, so here we have a basic anchor. Now, what are we looking for when we have a basic anchor? Uh, we make sure that we have a good solid structure that we're attached to. Um, in this case, I have two slings, two carabiners, two knots, giving me two independent uh, working ropes. Now, it doesn't get any more basic than this. And this is obviously your minimum requirement for, um, for anchoring uh, a set of ropes. Now, in the fire rescue service, in the rope access industry and stuff like that, this is probably very common. Now, when we're looking at a load sharing anchor, okay, and that really all it is is just taking both of these, connecting them to both, okay, there we go. <clears throat> And now you have a load sharing anchor. So all it is here is I'm taking all the same equipment, I'm just bunching it together. So now that if I have a single line failure, that my second line here is going to load both my carabiners, both the slings, and then disperse the load along a wider area, sometimes wider area, of whatever your anchorage is. You know, obviously if you have uh, these into bolts it's going to be pretty isolated anyways um, and it kind of depends now myself I do prefer a load sharing anchor system because you know at the end of the day why not but it also depends on the what you're using for equipment what your uh, your job is now if it's a straight set of ropes I have been finding myself just you know, a basic anchor system is good enough. Um, and the reason for that is I've been using a lot of steel slings and not always are the eyes lining up perfectly. So to kind of get both carabiners to lie side by side um, seamlessly is actually pretty challenging. So, you know, it's less of a hassle just to keep them independent. Now, in the event that I did have a mainline failure, 100% of that shock load would be isolated to just one sling and one carabiner not the most ideal circumstance but it is acceptable now the one place that i kind of go out of my way to load share both my anchors is on uh, any time that i'm doing a tension line and you know we've kind of talked a little bit about tension lines here uh, on this channel and on this platform but that's the one place where, you know, I'm going to go out of my way. I'm going to spend a little bit more time to make sure that everything is as equalized as, as possible because I am subjecting the equipment at both ends of the spectrum um, to a much greater uh, load and a much greater impact force in the event that something were to fail. If it's a drop set off the tension line, then that system is gonna take the full load. If it's one of the two uh, you know, trem lines or the, the two tr tension lines, then that single line and that single equipment on both sides is gonna to have to take that load. So I'd like to have it more in my favor than against me um, on tension lines. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have. It's just a pretty quick conversation. Um, but yeah, a basic anchor system. You know, it doesn't have to be tricky. It is as basic, as simple as it gets. Keep it just like that. Um, and then a load sharing anchor, put it together. Now, you know, there's the conversation I'll, I'll dive into here a little bit is about the opposed gates. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Um, it makes this a little bit easier. 
Is it the end of the world? No, it's not. Now, if you have screw gates, it's a little bit more um, of a reason to, you know, utilize that aspect of, you know, having both gates opposed for auto locking carabiners. You know, it, it's, it's pulling at straws at that point, but yeah, each to their own. There's no right or wrong, as long as you know, you're maintaining that minimum requirement. All right, well, thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. Uh, and let me know in the comment below if uh, you are load sharing yourself and where you are load sharing. Are you an individual that, you know, doesn't really see the need in it? Um, you know, as it's not a requirement. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe as it's right over here. Uh, hit the bell for notifications as I put out new content every single Sunday. As well, if you haven't already, please make sure to uh, follow us wherever you get your podcasts. And until next time.